Uh, hi, my name is Natalia Zaba, and I really spent the last decade of my life in the Balkans, mostly in Belgrade, but also Tirana, Pristina, etc. And today I'd like to tell you about my struggle on documenting and challenges on documenting the migrant crisis, which is actually one of the biggest topics of, of our times. I think, next, just next to the climate change. And all of the sudden, uh, stories about the migrants and whole crisis became, you know, boring. Oh, we've heard it all. Uh, those people are just coming. They are going to stay, or maybe not. They want to stay here, not there. And suddenly, we kind of lost the focus on what's really ongoing and going on just 1,000 kilometers from this place. So first, let me show you the thing, and then we're going to talk about it a bit. How do I play next? So um, this is a story of a family that uh, came to uh, stuck in the Balkans just after the deal between Turkey and EU was signed on the border closure, and they stuck in Serbia. And obviously they didn't want to stay there because their dream was Germany, France, or Italy. And while trying to cross the borders, they lost the child due to some very serious uh, misuse of Croatian police. And um, when you find yourself as a reporter in the middle of nowhere, as you could see, this was the border between Serbia and Croatia, just near the town of shit. You are facing a lot of challenges on uh, because you see everything, what's going on. Everything is clear. The mafia, the smuggling, uh, the way the authorities are behaving or misbehaving. And then you are left without any tools to actually document that. And um, which is actually devastating. This story has never ended. Uh, just the other day, I heard that... Um, uh, that people who are trying to help those guys to cross safely the border are actually uh, now having a lot of troubles with Croatian police and uh, prosecutors. So the story is ongoing and this family is only one example of what is happening each and every day, each and every night, not only at this one uh, crossing between Serbia and Croatia, but many others. And uh, the thing is, we have no documents to cover our stories up. Uh, we have uh, difficulties in reaching sources because most of those people are just passing through or they simply don't trust anyone. So the tools that uh, one can use to show that currently 1,000 kilometers from Warsaw, mafia and criminals are spreading the networks. They are more uh, visible and great in doing their job than ever and in a couple of 
years, we are going to have serious problem with many issues connected to the migrant crisis. Uh, well, it's not very optimistic and it's not only technology that we need in order to bring the story up. So, um, forgot what I want to say, but um, the, the thing is that uh, in a couple of months, we are going to uh, release full uh, documentary about what happened there with this uh, in this precise story. Uh, the plan is to release the story within parliaments. Uh, we are hoping that Brussels will open the door very soon. But I wanted to invite you guys, if you have any ideas on uh, possible collaboration, just let me know. I'm here until tomorrow and I think we can have a very uh, fruitful talks. Thank you so much.